Do you ever look at the world and think, things could be improved somewhat? Do you know how we improve things somewhat? Science. That's right, science. Science is what drives humanity into the future. And you could be a part of it. When you study science at Victoria University of Wellington, you're learning from top minds and top facilities on top of the science capital of New Zealand. So where's your passion going to take you? Are you into biology? The living world? Animals and bees and wasps? Maybe not wasps. We're right slap bang on one of the most ecologically diverse areas of the country. Right slap next to Zealandia Eco Sanctuary and right slap across town from the Coastal Ecology Laboratory. And Victoria University of Wellington students study them all, from trees to seas. But biology isn't just about trees and animals and nature, it's also about looking inside ourselves. Genetics, cells, gut bacteria, they're all there and you could use them to find medicines and protect fisheries or just generally save the world. Like gravity, you can't escape physics, but if you love physics, why would you want to? We've got physicists, astrophysicists and theoretical physicists working on exciting new nanomaterials, the composition of our galaxy, we're shooting lasers at solar panels and taking photos of the electricity. There's no denying that there's a global need for clean energy that, that's affordable. And when you look up at the sun, there's as much energy from the sun in just one hour as the entire world consumes in a year. So there's essentially unlimited resource there, and it comes down to using technology to convert that energy in the sun into a most usable form of energy, electricity. And that's where a solar photovoltaic is the key. When you look at existing technology, solar photovoltaics are made from silicon. They're still essentially made of a glass-like thing, and we're looking at making them out of very low-cost materials, plastics, actually. And the plastic is also known as a polymer, and we're working with materials called semiconducting polymers that can fulfill all of the roles of silicon, but they can be printed and they can be manufactured therefore very, very cheaply. These polymer solar cells essentially just look like a flexible film of plastic and they could be used in a number of ways. They could sit on top of your rooftop just like an existing solar panel does, but because they're lightweight and flexible, they could be used in outdoor equipment and tents and things like that. You could have a little flexible, lightweight charger for your phone when you're out and about. They could be on walls of houses. We could make semi-transparent films that coat windows that absorb, let's say, half the sunlight instead of tinting the window and turn that sunlight into electricity. But that's not all that chemistry can do. Chemists take the building blocks of our universe and build stuff with them, like antimicrobial resin or gold-infused wool, or medicines that can give a new quality of life to millions, or using iron particles to remove nitrogen from our waterways. Speaking of our environment, we need our environment, and our environment needs passionate people like you. Scientists who can understand our rocks, our soil, our air, our water. So much water! And we're only several thousand stones throw away from the Antarctic, which is why we've got the Antarctic Research Centre right here on campus. The reason for studying the ice sheet and understanding what it's doing is so that we can better predict sea level rise, both globally and for New Zealand. If we're going to be prepared for and plan for what's coming in the future, with sea level rise and how New Zealand must adapt to it. You know, this, this is where the rubber hits the road. This is where our research is having a direct impact on planning and decision making and making New Zealand resilient to climate change. We have many colleagues around the world who look at us with envy and go, how did you guys in New Zealand, a small country of four and a half million people, put together such a, a functional world-class team? All of us just get such a kick out of being part of that environment and with our international collaborators and that we can make a difference for New Zealand and we make a difference on the world stage, that's enough. We've got data, too much data, but with a little maths and statistics we can make sense of all of that and with a lot of maths and statistics we can make sense of the universe itself. Did you know that a degree in statistics is the most sought after qualification in the world? That's what our statistics tell us. You could work in economics, genomics, astronautics, or actuarial science. That's risk assessment. It's really big these days. 
My research is in Tangles and their um, mathematically robust way to identify communities within big data sets. So this is a very relevant problem today. Uh, lots of companies have massive data sets that they want to understand and if we can find an efficient and accurate way to do that, that can be really valuable. I never intended to study maths. Uh, growing up, music and art were my main passions and I came here to study music but I was persuaded to do a first year maths paper by my dad who studied maths and computer science and uh, I did it, I did Math 161, it's um, a really cool paper and you should do it because I'll be teaching it but um, it was the first time that I really saw the creative side of maths and it's completely different to what you see at school. Uh, school is very much focused on following rules, solving equations, it's really boring stuff and I didn't like it, I see why people don't like maths but maths is really about patterns. It's about understanding them, uh, describing them to other people in a beautiful way and also creating them yourself. And that's no different to any other art form. So that's really when I realized uh, the beauty in maths and why I changed over to a maths degree. What if you're a people person with an interest in psychology? Well, you could be a health professional, a neuroscientist, an animal behavioralist, or work in pretty much any field that involves people. So many people. We're the only university in the country with a centre for cross-cultural psychology and for forensic psychology, giving you a huge number of ways to make a difference in the lives of others. Let's face facts. Science is one of the best things humanity does, and we need scientists. No matter which subject you're passionate about, you'll have a chance to make your mark on the world as a science graduate, and Victoria University of Wellington is here to give you the skills and expertise you'll need to make that mark as big as you can. Because the future is about you.